God carried them into exile because they were rebellious, they were sinful. In Jeremiah 24, verse 4 to 8, okay? Uh, this is what the Lord God, the God of Israel says, like those good figs, I regard as good the exiles from Judah, whom I sent away from this place to the island of Babylonians. So those God sent away and exiled into Babylonia, Babylon are actually the good ones, fig, good figs. Verse 6, my eyes will watch over them for their good and I will bring them back to this land. I will build them up and not tear them down. I will plant them and not uproot them. You see that the exile is a good thing. The ones that are left behind are rotten ones. But the ones that are exiled. See, God's doing a restoration. In the process of the restoration, there will be a time of uh, renewal. That renewal includes a radical uh, regeneration. And the people's hearts need to be ripped apart and all this uh, these evil thoughts and fleshly desires God is just going to transform them yep uh, and God's way of doing it is to exile them but exile is, 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 is not a it's not a it's not a pleasant thing because you become captives to the other country uh, but in this case it's not that bad because it can actually grow and multiply because God has moved the heart of uh, the king of Babylon Nebuchadnezzar so that he doesn't go and destroy any of the Israelites but Israelites are supposed to grow and multiply and give their children give wives to their sons and give uh, the wives of uh, the daughters away to men of their own tribe of course uh, to multiply and grow which is the original uh, this, this is the original dominion mandate in Genesis uh, one, two, three, but so so God said, I don't take them away. And the beautiful thing is that my eyes will watch over them for their good. My eyes will watch over them. Don't you want God to watch over you with good? Of course you do. I, I do too. Yeah, you know, we all want God to watch over us for good. But the condition is that we need to be walking in God's will and doing God's things. In this case, is they need to be exiled. But for us, it could be different things. You know? The means God uses to achieve His purpose can change. But His purpose do not change. Okay? They always stay the same. It was is immutable. It's unchangeable. According to His eternal purpose. The, to all his most wise holy counsel before the foundation of the world okay so, so that is said he said I will I watch over them for good I'll bring them back to this land I will build them up and not tear them down you know this exile is temporary and God said I will build them up and not tear them down and I'll bring them back to this land 70 years old age. you know you they even know how many years going to be exiled. You know, to be exiled is one thing, but to exile without knowing when you're going to get back, it's, it's kind of depressing. But to be exiled, knowing exactly, you're doing a countdown, how many years later, your whole family generation is going to come back to your homeland. That is powerful, that is amazing. All right, so it's all these good purposes. Um, Finally, that's the one. I will give them a heart to know me that I am the Lord. They will be my people. I will be their God. For they will return to me with all their heart. You see, that's a goal. That's an eternal goal. They will return to me with all their heart. That's what God's after. You know, I will give them, I'll give them a heart. Um, what is it? Scum. I'll, I'll, uh, sorry. I will give them a heart to know me and I'm the Lord do you know that you cannot know the Lord unless you have the heart that God gives to you that's it you can't so once you are called 
or chosen by God as the elect. God gives you the heart to know Him. Now, after He has given to you, it's on your part now. You have to work on it and grow in their heart to know the Lord. That's why we come to Sunday service to listen to the Word of God, etc. To plant you. Okay, so the return to God with all our hearts.